All right. This is weird. We're still in the craft room, but it's no longer the craft room. It is now my daughter's room. So don't mind the bed and everything. I'm just going to show you a little bit. It is kind of messy, but this is now my daughter's room. And I am just, I'm excited to be out of this room. And I was kind of having like a sad moment of my daughter's no longer in her like baby room or no longer in the nursery. So I cried about that a little bit. And um, so the nursery, I'll go and show you what that looks like. All right, and this is Ellie's old room, which is now the nursery, which has been all, always been the nursery. Just we haven't really moved Ellie out of it, but we have a new crib. We actually got these, got this from our neighbors, and it's so much better than the last one. The last crib, Ellie chewed up a bunch, so obviously we can't use that. So there are a little bit, some pieces like right here, we're going to sand and um, redo a little bit. But we kept some toys in here just for the fact that it will be used by the baby. We got a cedar chest that was like my third great grandmother's. So we're going to have that in here. We brought the shelf in here. Ellie's stuff is still in here, but we have to move into the shed. Let me go show you all that we have to move. <laughs> all right. So everything we have to move is right here this was either on the desk or on the table that's my my cutting board and stuff so we have to move all of this there's some games right here but those games i don't think will be in my shed we'll probably put them out somewhere but yeah we have to move pretty much this whole table i have an office chair and i have this yarn right here and for the water damage the only thing i can do right now for the water damage is to lift everything off the floors so i put two cinder blocks with like a wood plank over them and i'm gonna set everything on top of those so let me go show you that whole situation I'm trying not to have creepy lighting but okay so we all know this situation we have all this but now I have my table in here so I have my table in here now there is a table right here but as you can tell there's like a whole one foot difference of that and I want to be able to sit I'm pregnant so I'm not gonna be able to stand up and do all that my husband said he might take it down for me and put something else up there to where I can have everything set up but for now we're going to try to put everything where it needs to go but i'm going to bring everything from the house into here just so it's out of the house and then we'll see if i still feel up for it we'll probably put start putting things up where they need to go this mini fridge right here this is actually going to go inside the house when i start breastfeeding which i am 100 percent sure i'll be breast breastfeeding or i'm gonna you know I did it last time, so I'm hoping I can just do it this time. I don't know. It could be different, but I am always prepared with, like, extra formula just in case. But I really want the fridge to be inside the room. <sighs> and that way when I breastfeed or pump and stuff, I could just put it in the mini fridge and not have to go all the way to the kitchen. Or I can have some drinks or smoothies in the mini fridge. That way... If I'm ever hungry during the middle of the night, I don't have to get up and go into the kitchen. So the mini fridge will be in my room eventually, but I'm going to keep it in here so that when I'm working in here, I can get a sip of that. Because we still have, I think I'm in month five, so I might have four months to go. Yeah, so I still have four months before we can move all that. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time in here just trying to get everything ready before the baby comes here and trying to see if I can do more projects. I'm trying to figure out where my thread can go because I think I'm going to end up sewing on this side of the room and doing my crafts and stuff, like doing the cutting and stuff, but have my machines on this wall back here. But I still need to like sand and repaint over there. So who knows? But let's get everything situated first. I need to go eat real quick and I'll do a time lapse of me moving everything in here. So.
so far, we have these shelves. I put everything that couldn't catch dust up here. And, you know, I have some things or projects and stuff. Those are going to be, or I got tumblers up here that's going to just have to wait. And I got my beading over here. And I got, I decided I will put my sewing machines right here. Because these, you know, I can sew and do whatever. And, um, I also have my sewing set up up here. My grommet and button puncher things are right here. Got my serger right here. All of my sewing needles and stuff for each sewing machine in the middle. I got my thing hat set up my tripod but I might this tripod's gonna move around in the future I need to buy more tripods that way I can have one right there one on this side which is gonna be where I'm gonna cut and you know iron fabric and then I could put it right here or put one right here there's some lighting right there and this will be like my cutting station all of my fabric is on this side so all of my fabric project stuff that I just want to get done or do something with. Um, I'm going to try and get something to cover up my fabric so it doesn't get dust all over it. Again, this is going to end up moving out because I'm going to use it for breast milk storage when I when the baby comes here in four months. But then I got, you know, my Cricut stuff. I'm going to reorganize. and I've got some of my inventory up here, which is like my... Um, earrings and stuff which I do plan on packaging soon so it doesn't collect dust up there and then having or that's my cutting mats and then we got do we call her Myrtle Meredith I forgot what we called her but we got our you know dummy right there we got some storage up there that I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with I just think you know for right now it's just right there got all of my resin over here so and then some of my resin cups are stored up here got some yarn up there that will be covered I would just have it uncovered for right now but got my resin right there cup holder for doing rhinestoning and I used that hammer because there was this little thing in the middle and to be able to make that mat fit I moved it over so that's what it looks like and there are or I fixed the lights. There's one light, another light above me, and then there's this long light. And um, there's plugs galore. There's a plug right here. So that would be great for like my computer and stuff that I can get to easily. And then there's a plug right there, a plug right here, a plug right here. There's a plug right here. There's a plug over there. And then there's a plug on the roof. And then there's a plug right there, or, you know, over there. And then there's a plug over here. There's a plug behind here, but I'm pretty sure there's another plug somewhere because this refrigerator is hooked up to something. There's a plug right there. There's a plug over there. And then there's a plug somewhere in between here, but, yeah. Oh, there's a plug right there, too. So, yeah. But this is what everything looks like so far. Hold on, let me get the other side. Or, let me do my first angle in here. Which, I don't have my tripod because I left it in Arkansas. But right now, I just had to do this for the day. And I knew that was going to take up most of my time. And if I feel like it tomorrow, I'll get in here and organize and show you all that. Okay. I actually had to turn off some of the <laughs> ACs in here. Oh, there's a wasp in here. I need to get a thing, like a bug thing to block bugs from coming in here. Probably should have shut the door, but I have the door open so I can see my daughter play. This is Tuesday. I really want to get this drawer organized or this cubicle thing organized. And I also want to see about starting to sand down this, but I need to see if there's paint. I don't know if there's paint. So I just really want to clean this thing up and the wall, first off, there's ants coming out of that wall, but uh, the wall, I don't know how I feel about the wall. How do y'all feel about the wood paneled, white wood panel wall? 
I don't think I can change that just yet, but I'm trying to make it look a little bit nice. Um, I wish I had black paint because at least the shelves I would at least paint black or something or keep it neutral. But so far right here, this drawer and stuff, I just really want to sand it because I want to try to clean it first before I just go and sand it. But as you can tell, there's like spray paint right here. So I might just go ahead and sand it. So, but yeah, that is today's job. And so far, so good. My husband came in here and he was surprised that one, that I did that with the blocks, the center blocks and a piece of wood. He's like, well, that was a quick fix. He's like, I didn't even think about that. And I was like, well, I don't want my stuff to get water damage. And it's not going up the walls. It's just, it comes out on the floor randomly. So, yeah. Which, it might come through the walls. I don't know. But everything else, like, so it should be fine. Because my husband said that that was perfect. And nothing should be bothered. So, let's hope that that's true. I do have... A new baby bed in here I know it's gonna be a while before we need a toddler bed for the little one but I just figured Ellie has like a full-size bed she didn't really have a toddler bed she went from the crib to like a full like a twin bed and but I have the baby's baby number two's toddler bed in here we'll just see how long you know that happens if not I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it'll be fine in here. I'm just like waiting because I'm like, I hope we don't have to put it somewhere else. So far, I have enough room for everything. So, all right, let's get to work. I'm procrastinating. <sighs> all right, so this is what I'm cleaning. Maybe I should, is that good? We've got my vinyl and everything in there and my paper crafts. And I got so many paper crafts. I don't know if they're gonna go in that part right there or if I need to just find another place to put my paper crafts. Like there's some shelves over there that I can have them laying on, but if it gets too humid in here, it'll ruin the paper. <sighs> we'll just try, we'll just try. Let me go check on my shelves. a lot more easy to look at <laughs> because I just couldn't deal with the brown staining and stuff and my father-in-law he scared me he came in and um, he told me he's like why are you sanding it and I was like well there's a bunch of like dips and stuff right there and I really want to get them down and apparently this paneling on the wall is what's on that so to sand it would be completely pointless so i would have to scrape it off and take it off i didn't do that i just painted over it my father-in-law is like don't even he's like just paint over it it's fine <laughs> and i was like okay so i shut the paint these drawers are going to soak up some of the paint but i don't know if i want to repaint them or anything I might repaint it but for now I'm just gonna kind of let it dry I just wanted to get the nastiness out I just wanted to look a little bit more clean 
Um, the walls obviously still look disgusting. And I did have to move out here to create room for the new baby. Right now, I don't think there's really much to do. I just really want to get us started with my projects. So I think by next weekend, um, next Saturday, I will be able to do projects again. I am getting more comfortable being out here. It was a little uncomfortable because I wasn't in the house and my daughter, I worry about her. Obviously, I'm not going to leave her in the house alone. But when I'm here in the backyard and she's in the backyard too, one, it gives her a reason to get outside and to play and she looks forward to it. And two, it gets me out of the house. It gets me out of that space and it gets me into like a working mood. And then when I go back into the house, you know, I can get into like a house mode mood. So it's a really good separation between, I guess, work and house. So, yep. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. I hope this video was fun to watch. It's honestly like a nice setup in here and I am excited and hopefully next weekend I can get started on the sewing projects. I have all of my machines. Like I don't have to put anything up. I don't have to switch anything around. I have my sewing desk and back here is going to be like where I cut the fabric and stuff. I also have my storage over here. I have my cutting stuff right here, like my Cricut and everything. My laptop is my laptop does not come in here unless I'm working on my Cricut. I don't want it to be left out here and somebody come in and steal it or something or bust through a window and take it. So yeah, that my laptop stays in the house. It only comes in here when I need it. <laughs> but I have like my little workstations. I over here I have you know where I'm doing my resin and yeah and then I have like over here my market stuff so you know when I'm not doing a market which I don't I haven't done a market if you're new here I really want to do a market. I've been doing a little bit of like garage sale type things like there will be neighborhood garage sales at like my grandmother's, well, my grandmother is moving, so I won't be able to do that anymore. But my grandmother's neighborhood had like this neighborhood yard sale and you didn't have to pay or anything. You just had to technically live there, but my grandmother lived there and I was selling some of her stuff, but I was selling some of my stuff in the middle of it. So I was selling products that way. I would sell a lot of scrunchies and stuff. But I will not be able to do that anymore. So if I really want to sell anything, I would have to go on, I would have to go like physically to a market or like a shop till you drop type of thing, like a vendor's thing. So that's what I would like to do in the future. But right now I'm trying to also focus on like online sales. So if you want to shop any of my stuff, I. I'm so close to getting to the YouTube shop, but I need 2,000 more views, so make sure you watch all of my videos or watch some playlists of mine. I have like a crochet playlist, a tumblers playlist, a sewing, did I already say sewing? Crochet sewing, tumblers, and um, rhinestoning, but rhinestoning is pretty much in with the tumblers, or I just have hauls, reviews, so if you want to watch any of those, please do, and it will help me be able to sell stuff straight from YouTube but for right now I have links down below I have an Etsy shop and a Poshmark shop and Poshmark has been helping me sell on Etsy because Etsy you have a fee so right now I don't make much of a profit the only thing it's like everything is like being bought to be put back in my business so yeah I, I don't think I've ever dipped out of my stuff so yeah Everything that I make goes straight into, like, goes back into this. So, if you want to help me out, please watch all of my videos and buy a few things down below. And I do have a fiber account to where I can make SVG cut files or DXF files. I can convert files. So, if anybody needs to do that or wants me for that, just go to my fiber down below. And I can also make a custom gig. I put two gigs up, but I can make a more custom gig like just to convert files depending on how many files I'll do like $25 per like 25 files I think that's 
I would say mm, $25 for 25 files. So, and <clears throat> if, I don't know, we would, it would have to be discussed. <laughs> so, I think that's it for this video. Sorry if I just kind of rambled on about nothing. I just really want to get all of my you know ideas out there or what I have planned because I feel like it helps y'all come back and know what to expect from me so now that I'm in here now that I can get stuff done I'm excited and I feel like I can get more projects done now that I don't have to individually bring out different things to do but yeah I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye